Hi, what's going on guys? Liam here. In today's video, I have some max balance PP for y'all, and I got a cool one for you guys. We are using Cat Thug. Now, I think this is my new favorite balance pet. It's really good, actually. It's kind of like Storm's Rain Beetle, but for balance, and you only get one item card. But the point of it is, uh, you use it for the utility, right? Two turns of tempo, you break a shield, and you put a debuff on them. So it can really change the tides of the match, and you will see that towards the latter half of the match here in today's video. But uh, yeah, I do want to remake this pet, um, the body of this pet with the the talents on my other flamingo. Because it's honestly really good, and the card, like I said, can really shift the tides of the battle. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to leave a like rating and subscribe if you're new around here. Um, I'd really appreciate it, guys. I do upload daily Wiz content, and I do stream every day on the Twitch, 7 p.m. Central Time, if you don't want to stop by. Uh, links should be in the description, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, take care, guys. Alright, I got rid of a Shrike, a Mock, and a Gaze, and he decided to pass, which is interesting. Okay. See, I'm rocking a really weird build. It's kind of new, and we're going for some Locust Swarm casts, and also some uh, nice Cat Thug value, so yeah. Also, I decided to start packing Brace for Storms and Fires. Basically, it's only to get me a free round, and if they try to infall over it, uh, I can try and pop, right? So yeah, we're gonna go for a Wanted, see if we get a cast, get an extra like 500 damage in. That'd be nice. No cast. Dang. Okay, okay, okay. Also, something I noticed with Storm is like, you don't want to let them get a lot of pips, right? So, Mana Burn's really good. I actually think my best move would be to infall right now. TBH, TBH, dudes. We didn't pull it though. Pull this weakness. Pull weakness, dudes. Try and get some more casts. I think what procs it is when you target your opponent as well. I have that if he minions. Want it again. Eedle. Okay. Interesting. Well, I think I'm probably gonna have to take a Colossus right now. It's a good hit, and we debuff him, right? I don't want to brace until he infalls, unless I have to brace, right? So I guess he could hit through this and it would still hurt, but I have like 60 some res, so it's not that bad. I'll take 13. Gotta get some casts in though, baby. Gotta get some casts. Stumbluck. I mean, I'll do it if I have the free turn, obviously, right? But I could just burn him, and not let him combo at all, right? And a bubble, yeah. Yeah, I might have to stun block right now. He still does have a weakness. Um, if he just strikes right now, it's not a big deal. So he's on about 500 damage, and I think we've done about 1500, so yeah, I'm cool with just uh, stacking up pips here. Uh, his best move probably would be to want it right now, and we did pull a cat thug. Okay. Hmm, Infa? Really? Well, I'm gonna brace then. That just counters it, right? And we gain a pub. Good value. Good value, dude. Um, I do have a gaze as well for a shot. He might just take the hit. He didn't. Interesting. Well, I think I'm gonna take the gaze right now. I think, right? Yeah, I feel like you gotta. His infile runs out before your brace. So, we're gonna try and bubble fight. I'm not just going to 2-pit bubble yet, um, I do want to gaze for extra damage, right? I need as much damage as possible in this matchup. So yeah, we've done about 1500 plus an open gaze, probably 1200, right? Yeah, just about. Alright, nice. 
Yeah, almost 1300. So we're doing about 2.8, and we've took it about uh, 900. And he did start bubble, so it's very winnable. It's gonna strike. I mean, don't I just take that mana burn? Like, I mean, if I shield, things only get worse for me. Right? I gotta take that burn, bro. It's a max pip buffed burn. We're cannon and we do crit. Yeah, 1700. You'll end the cast? Hey, yo. Imagine I had this spell. Oh no, dude. Yeah, he can't combo as good now. 700. Oh my god. I have a king art too. There's no way. I might, even, I might not even need bubbles. I mean, does he spam hidden bubbles or no? Yeah, okay. I mean, I might have to keep bubbling for now then, right? God bless. I mean, that wasn't enchanted. Here's the thing though. If he just gets a strike hit, I think we're still just ahead. Because he maybe does like, what, 3k? But, like, he's gonna be almost dead out of Lash, right? Yeah, I think we are gonna bubble that last turn away. We kind of just have to accept he will get um, a nice hit off. I like that King Art, but I'm not sure if I'll have Pips to do it anytime soon. Now, give me the pop. Too late. Yeah, he'll only be at, like, 2.7. Does he, uh, surge a hit a bubble? King Art. I mean, that's like a strike for Solka, but the thing is, um, we have bubble, more pips, and I think we're still ahead. Yeah, 5k. Yeah, we're still ahead. We have more pips. We have bubble. Um, we even stumble off, and he hasn't. I'm gonna go for a weakness to counter that last blade. Because let's say he wants it, he does give up the, uh... The King or Pierce Blade, right? I mean, I don't really need Bubble to kill him. I honestly probably could just infall and hit with an infall, right? But I'm gonna keep bubbling for as long as I can until I get a shad, until my hand comes together, right? Yeah, we're still, yeah, we're still very far ahead. I'm gonna get rid of the King Art. Keep bubbling. Because if he keeps bubbling right now, I can just take an open unbuffed mock, and then he's just dead to whatever. And he won't have pips to trade anytime soon. Okay. So I think bubble fighting for him right now is a really bad idea. I hope I get that mock kind of soon though. Should be another two rounds before I get my shed. Yeah, I got ones for when he debuffs. We're pretty good. Pretty good right now. Oh, we did pull the mock. I don't need a surge yet. He has another one. Wow, okay. I mean, maybe I do just take the open chimera then. Because, like... Yeah, here's the thing, bro. I'm not dead to a bubble, double pierce blade or Rasulka. And I do have a weakness on him, yeah. So let's just take our hit here. And then we could like want it into a mock and threaten kill shot. Those pierce blades might be the only thing keeping him in the game though. And I don't think it saves him, right? We could cat thug as well. To double debuff him. Yeah, okay. Uh I mean do I hmm. I feel like I do have to want it. I kind of do like the aura, right? But I might need this extra bit of poke damage. Extra, you know, yeah, almost 300 damage here. The shield. Oh, shouldn't need a paw. I'll just Colossus at that point, right? Shield again. So I think I cat thug right now, right? Because the weaknesses will stack, and if he takes them off, he's dead. So yeah, that's a great move. That's a really good move. Now he's double weakness. All his buffs won't kill me. No shot. 
Yo, and the cast. Oh my god. No, I wanted the other one. Nah, it's over for him. It's over for him, bro. <laughs> oh no. Because if he just keeps shielding, I can hit through. He didn't? I mean, I'm not dead, homie. I, damn, I wish I didn't get that brace. Yeah, those do stack, by the way. Those do stack. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't think he kills us, so... Screw that brace, bro. I, I'll pretend like it didn't happen, Logan. I'll pretend like it didn't happen. You're not killing me, dude. Oh, did he give up? Does he not think we kill? Bro. What? Does he not really think we kill? I mean... Hydra, right? I, I shouldn't fizzle this. Yeah. Then plus, the storm head does buff the last one. And the amplify. Oh no, dude. Oh no, dude. Yeah, he's out here, storm head. Oh my god, cat thug gas, man. Cat thug gas, but man.